guys ever have like a makeup phase that you start going through, like a certain kind of product that you just start loving and loving more and more of? For me right now, I am becoming really obsessed with matte lips. And I think part of it is because there are a lot of really comfortable formulas out there right now, and I don't think there always have been. So that's part of it, and I think also my lips, I've been keeping them in a little better condition than usual. I know I mentioned in my colorless makeup must-haves, my little e.l.f. lip exfoliator has been great. I've been using this so regularly, and just lip balms, and you know, when I don't have a lip product on, trying to keep them a little bit more hydrated. And it's really made such a difference, and I think it's made these matte lipsticks apply so much more beautifully and look a little more flawless on the lips when you go to those little extra steps. Don't get me wrong, still love my shine, still love my glosses, but I feel like I'm starting to appreciate um, the matte look a little bit more lately. So I want to share with you 10 of the matte lip colors that I love the most. I think they are all really comfortable formulas, but also these specific colors that I'm showing you are colors that I really love. So here's a little quick look at the range. So we've got light, kind of natural ones, all the way to deeper, really, really fall-like colors. When I wear these, I do feel comfortable enough just to put these on as is. I don't really need to prep my lips with a lip balm first, but maybe you're sitting there thinking, you know what, my lips are another level of dry and they're dry no matter what. One lip balm that I recommend using under matte lipsticks that will still maintain the matte finish on your lips but just make everything feel a little more hydrated are the EOS lip balms. This happens to be the Sweet Mint one. But any of these balms from just that regular EOS line, if you had experience with these, you know they're not a greasy lip balm. They don't leave your lips looking overly shiny. And so if you think you're going to want that little bit of extra hydration and priming underneath these lip products, this would be the kind I'd recommend. But enough chit chat, let's get right to it. The first one and the lightest one that I'm going to recommend. I felt the need to throw in a nude and this is the Revlon Matte Lipstick in Nude Attitude. I think this makes a really great kind of base lip color for a lot of different neutral looks. You can throw in a lip liner and not really alter the finish of this lipstick but kind of adjust the color a little bit. This goes on really velvety smooth and does have that purely matte finish. Now if you like something that's still pretty light but with maybe a little more peachy tone, I love the e.l.f. matte lip color in Coral. I've gone ahead and ordered a few more of these because I think the format's really unique. You know, it's not quite as wide as some of the jumbo lip pencils, but it's definitely thicker than your average lip liner, so you can have full precision when you put this on. But I think the finished color is just so beautiful. Just that hint of peach without being too loud. I think people who typically love a nude lipstick would like this color. Another really natural shade that kind of makes me think your lips but better is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in Exposed. I know Exposed is a super popular cheek color from this line, but this is a gorgeous lip color, and it does have that hint of a minty quality that the Tarte Lip Surgeon's lip products tend to have. But I think it feels really soothing on the lips. I'm a big fan of the regular Lip Surgeon's products, and I think they did a great job with the matte finish as well. This next one is one of my most recent finds, and I got it in an Ulta order. It's the Butter London Moisture Matte Lipstick, and the shade is called Abbey Rose. I think it's a beautiful, fresh pop of pink. It kind of makes me think of springtime, but I'll pretty much wear this anytime. Um, it is such a beautiful texture. Totally matte and really, really long wearing. It's also kind of unique in that as I continue to like wear this and press my lips together, I keep feeling the moisture in this product, but yet it maintains that totally matte finish on your lip. And this is lasting me through meals. It's just got like really epic staying power. So if you're looking for a matte lipstick splurge, that might be one to check out. Please excuse my chippy nails, but this is the Butter London one I just showed you. The next one is kind of close to it, but you see how it's got a little bit more like of a mauve twist to it. And this is from the Rimmel Kate Moss Matte Lipstick Collection. So the Red Tubes and it's number 103. And this is the first one that I tried from this line. And I remember like months and months ago saying, this is the most comfortable matte lipstick I've ever tried. Like it feels so velvety smooth on. Full color, just fabulous pigmentation. And I think this 103 is something the pink lovers will enjoy. I also have 102, which is a little bit lighter pink if you're into that. But I'm kind of convinced that this whole line of Kate Moss matte lipsticks can do no wrong. The other one that I love is the 109, and this is an awesome kind of orangey bright coral 
so beautiful. I don't have a lot of matte lipsticks in this tone, but I think this particular shade is stunning. Another kind of drugstore matte lip product that I think is right up there with the Kate Moss ones that I just mentioned are the uh, Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. These are great. Um, the couple of shades that you'll be seeing from this line are this one and this one. So we're getting into some of the deeper colors, and this first shade is called Sultry. I think of this shade as kind of a deep mauve. I find the color a little bit buildable. The more I put on, um, the deeper it starts to look. So you can kind of blot some off if you want to and get, I think, a little bit more of a pinky appearance out of this shade. But it's so beautiful and it feels really, really nice. Another color burst matte balm that I love and that I've been wearing throughout this video is called Standout. It's really wonderful to have a good matte red lip color. Because sometimes with the glossier red lip products, you might feel like you run the risk a little bit more of them drifting outside your lip line or just getting sloppy if you're not keeping a close eye on it. And I love how this shade really stays where I put it. It just feels really lightweight on my lips and not to mention the beautiful color. Now my last two here, we're getting into the deepest tones, so great fall options. And this is just a great line all around for really impressive color intensity and it's the NYX Matte Lipsticks. So a couple to mention. One that I know I've mentioned a lot is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Alabama. This is very similar to the shade I just mentioned. Obviously same finish, but just a little bit deeper red tone. So great fall option. Even just a really pretty like holiday option as we get into that time of year, which seems like a long way off right now, but you know. And the other one that is so near and dear to my heart, I remember wearing this for my first iMats that I went to. It was iMats New York, not this past year, but the one before, and it is in Merlot. So another NYX matte lipstick. I feel like this shade always looks a little brighter in the tube than it does in my swatch or when it's actually on my lips. It's a great full body deep berry color. These NYX matte lipsticks feel very creamy. They might feel a little heavier on the lips than some of the other ones that I've mentioned already, but I still think they're very comfortable. So there you go. Those are my 10 matte lipstick picks. Again, they are colors that I love, but also formulas that I think are actually comfortable. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.